Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be going over my history of tennis strings with you. What I've used since the first day I've played tennis. Hold tight. All right, guys. So when I first got my Chris Everett special from Walgreens as a five, six-year-old, um, that racket, and this is going to bring back a lot of memories for you guys, was Victor Strings, V-I-C-T-O-R. It was that white clear string with that blue colored wrap on it. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. Uh, Victor, Victor Nylon string that came with my wooden racket. I'm sure that will bring back a ton of memories for you guys who are from that time. And that was like the late seventies. Uh, that was pretty much the industry standard. I know a bunch of you always talk about Victor Imperial. Um, it was either nylon or gut back then. So, and obviously if you're going to buy a racket out of Walgreens like me, it's going to have Victor on it. Uh, so that was my first string ever, kind of a no frills, nylon based tennis string that pretty much worked, right? Um, and then into the 80s, I used a string called Bowbrand, B-O-W-B-R-A-N-D, Bowbrand, synthetic gut that was similar to, let's say, that gamma synthetic gut we have today. Um, again, no frills, like nylon based synthetic gut. Um, didn't last very long in terms of tension maintenance. It wasn't very good, but it did its job. It was tennis string and it was pretty much kind of the industry standard. Um, it, again, it was nylon synthetic gut or gut. Those were kind of like your three only options in the eighties. Um, I think Kevlar started making an appearance for durability in the mid to late 80s. So for all those people who broke strings quickly, um, they had ProBlend, right? So ProBlend made an appearance, I would say, in the late 80s, mid 80s, somewhere in there. Um, but those were kind of like the only strings on the market. Um, as we progressed, um, I started using, as a lot of you know, uh, or use two gamma gut, right? You guys remember gamma gut? Well, it's back now. They they brought it back. Um, I want to say five years ago now, and this was kind of like a premium synthetic gut that you could use. So this was kind of the best thing out that you could get in a synthetic gut. So it was like two main strings with a wrap around it, so it softened up. Uh, the string bed for you because uh, it had two core strings that they wove together and then put a wrap around it together to make it softer uh, so a lot of people know gamma gut right here it is gamma gut good string still make it today now 17 and 16 gauge i love this string when i used to play um, i transitioned from this to a string called gamma gut 3 um, and it only came in a 17 gauge it was a little firmer. It was a little uh, more crisper. It kind of reminds me of head velocity today. So the modern day Gamma Gut 3 would be head velocity. Uh, it plays kind of very similar to that. But Gamma Gut 3, you guys should remember. Gamma TNT is what I also used after Gamma Gut 3. And this is a multi-purpose multi uh, synthetic gut uh, basically this is what it looks like so it's a nice thick core with a wrap around it so nice semi durable uh, good feeling all around string so maybe a couple steps better than you know like a synthetic but definitely not as good as this but by then this was already discontinued so I had to use um, something as similar as I could get and that was Gamma TNT. Um, as I progressed uh, and liked more feel, right, I moved into Gamma Professional. So this has that live wire technology. 
So a lot more filaments in there, as you can see. So that's what the uh, cross section looks like. So a lot of little fibers with some medium sized fibers kind of wrapped together. So softer, more feel, um, easier to spin, um, better feedback, better tension maintenance. So I would say this is probably one of the best synthetic guts we have even today. But I mean, this thing's been around for, I wanna say over 20 years. Um, still a great, great string today. So after that, um, I started using, you know, as, as I grew into the game, got a little better, um, I started using gut, right? And I used the tonic because it was more, uh, you know, it was cheaper, right? It wasn't as expensive as regular gut. So, and gut's gut, guys. If you can get this, it's a little more durable and it's still soft and it's still gut. So even to this day, um, try this instead of, you know, blowing the extra 10 or 15 bucks on the, the regular stuff. This tonic is just as good. Um, when the revolution of um, Lux Salon came along with the polys, obviously I had to try it, right? So I tried obviously ALU, which was the best thing out. Uh, but I was scared to try a full bed of it. So I tried it with my tonic right so i used this on the main and this on the cross like most people did and it hurt my arm so i was kind of scared to do it uh again so i pretty much tried it twice and it didn't work for me got tennis elbow and then i switched them around right to see what would happen it felt a lot better switched around with this on the main and this on the cross uh as some of you may know who do this. If you put this on the main, this on the cross, it'll feel a little tighter and a little harder. If you flip flop them, put this on the main and that on the cross, it softens up the string bed a lot. So I feel like if you put this on the main, if you did it at 55, it'll feel like 55. If you put this on the main, it'll feel like it's five pounds tight, five pounds looser, and it'll be like 50 pounds. So, try that you know fed fed knows something right that's why fed does this on the main and this on the cross um, as i progressed a little more and kind of got a little more comfortable with poly i actually abandoned it even with this on the main i went back to uh this straight up um and then i slowly eased into uh like this ace or a timo which is super thin and i did this on the main and this on the cross and I kept that for a few years. I would flip flop them once in a while, depending on how my arm felt. Um, and then kind of progressed from there. As I started easing into more, just taking out the gut, I used you know, a full bed of Timo, a full bed of Ace, right? Just cause it's thinner and softer and easier on the arm. Uh, and I got a lot of action because it was so thin. Um, I started just, just going straight up straight up poly, right? But I had to ease into that. It took a couple years for my arm to kind of get used to it. And after I got used to it, I kind of tried going back to like a gamma gut when it got reintroduced about five years ago and I couldn't do it. I was just so used to the full bed of poly feel, spin um, and, and touch that I, I could, this felt like a rock to me. So that's the thing, guys. If you play with a full bed of poly and you go back to this, this feels dead. This is lively and this is dead. So it's a tough, it's a tough transition into and then a tough transition back to. Um, but you know, just to warn you guys, okay, if you're playing with a full bed of poly, it's going to be real tough to to go back. Um, maybe a good choice would be to blend the two. Now, then when Confidential came out. It was kind of like, I want to say heaven for me, but it was pretty much immediate um, comfort and immediate satisfaction uh, for me because I love this off the bat. It felt like um, home, right? I could do whatever I want. It felt great. Um, I could produce spin. It was very predictable. 
See, that's the thing. I need a string to be predictable. If I hit a certain shot, I want it to do a certain thing, right? If I hit heavy topspin, I want it to jump. If I hit flat, I want it to go, right? And that's what this string did and still does for me. So as of today and as of about, I want to say three to four years ago, because I got this string in its test phase and they kept kind of giving it to me uh, to use. Therefore, you know, I'm still happy with it today. This thing got uh, introduced early part of this year and then you guys got to use it. But I've been using this for close to four years because that's basically when they started making it. Uh, but yes, Linko did a great job with this string. So this is my current string today. So what is your string history? Uh, let me know and tell me why. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.